Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I style my 360 wig. And I'm gonna be showing you guys like about like plucking and just like how the baby hairs and how I got this so flat. Do y'all see that? Like look how flat that is. Like it literally looked like it's grown out of my scalp. I forgot to mention in the video that the company gave me a discount code which will be on the screen right now. Don't forget to use this discount code if you're interested in this wig and you'll receive money off your purchase. I'm also gonna be showing you guys the unboxing of this hair as well. First, I'm going to insert the clip of me like doing the unboxing. You guys will see how the wig came, things and what came in the box, that kind of stuff. I'll also be doing a review on the hair, like a little review at the end of the video after I'm done styling the hair, so yeah. <laughs> it's a wig that was sent to me by Wow Ebony. Yeah, I like the box that it came in. I haven't opened the box, as you guys probably can tell. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Mm. Comes with like a little booklet thing. Oh, they show you how you can uh, style the wigs, I'm assuming. Oh, I watch her. I don't know if this is important, but I'm gonna show you that anyway. I watch her, I watch Sunny, naturally Sunny. I watch her. That's cool. I like to do that watch and stuff like this, but anyways. This is really cool. It's like a little booklet. They show you like different people wearing their hair. So, okay, this is a wig. Wait a minute, I'm happy this wig look long. And I think it's a 22 inch. Comes with a little plastic thing. What's left in the box is, look at this. They give you a wig cap, right? A tan wig cap, thank you. Thank you for the tan wig cap, thank you. I just bought me a tan wig cap for this wig. It comes with needle and thread and two clips. No hair company that's ever sent me hair, and I've been sent hair by a lot of hair companies. And this is the first hair company that sent it with needle and thread. And they have a band, an elastic band. This is so helpful, especially like if you're a beginner at like wigs and stuff. You know, you have you have everything you'll, you'll need. If you want to slow down your wig, you can use this. If you want to use the elastic band, you can use this. And then you also need a wig cap. The wig comes with their wild ebony tag, and then it comes with like details of the wig. So this wig is the, I'm going to show you guys it, then I'm going to read it. This is the 360 lace wig. It's Indian Remy hair, 22 inches, natural color. The cap size is a medium. The hair density is 150. Y'all have all this information in the description box. <laughs> oh, I love the texture of this hair. This hair feels like my natural hair, like blow dried or flat iron. I really love that. I love hair that feels like my natural hair. I wonder if it'll still keep this texture when I flat iron it. But it has a comb right here, like right beneath the frontal part in the front, on the side, on this side, and then one right in the back, along with the adjustable bands. The knots aren't bleached on here. Let me see. Yeah, the knots don't come bleached, so you can either bleach the knots or you can, you can just put makeup. I'm gonna go ahead and brush it out. It looks like it's already plucked though. It does have baby hairs. So yeah, I'm about to take off this wig and then put on this wig and I'll see you guys in a little bit. I already feel like a, a new woman. Oh yeah, I'm gonna really like this one. So is this long? I'm five, two and a half. Is this long right here? It goes down to right here. Turn to the side. Actually, I'm not gonna turn to the side because I'm in a chair. But it's pretty long, y'all, for a 22 inch. Let me show you that close up. Before I did all the extra stuff. But look at that. You could tell it's a natural hairline. All right, so we're gonna do a side part. Yeah, you wanna have like a, oh, a rat toe, a rat toe, a rat toe comb. So right now, basically the wig is just on my head and I have on a, a, uh, a tan lace cap that they, that came in the box. I put on 
the one that they sent with it. What I'm gonna do right now is take my tweezers and I'm gonna show you guys how I pluck. If you're new to plucking, I recommend just take off the wig and put on the mannequin. Um, pretty much what I'm doing. I'm gonna just like lean forward like this for you guys to see. Comb it out because of course some hair hair is gonna come out. You gotta keep you gotta keep combing it out so you won't over pluck. Okay, so either you can use a powder foundation or you could use an actual liquid foundation. I think what I'm going to do is use a a powder and a, use a brush that you don't use anymore or that you just don't want. I want to take my got to be glue gel and I'm going to use this as like a uh, an edge control. I'm gonna go back and pluck some more of this part back here because I didn't pluck the back one already. I don't like to make the line too precise because my natural my natural parts are like never really like precise. Like, I don't know, they're not super they're not super straight, I wanna say. And there's not super thin either. So I like it make I like to make it a little wider. But I'm about to show y'all what else I do too to like get it really flat because I use this thing right here, this hot comb. I've never used a plug of ones. This is like the old fashioned ones, ones I go on the stove. I would recommend getting the the ones that go plugged in if you're not really familiar with this because if you use this one and it's too hot, it will probably melt your uh, your lace. I, I've used this for a long time so I pretty much know when it's too hot. I think with the electrical ones you can adjust, adjust the like temperature and how hot it get. I think, I'm not sure. Cause I've never used one. You all see how flat it gets? Look at that y'all. Y'all see how flat that is? I feel like I could just cut this part off. Like this part right here is really unnecessary. Oh, I thought I cut my real hair. I was really about to be like, yeah, that looks so much better. Yeah. This little piece was just uncalled for. Yeah, when I tell you I am in love with this hair, that's pretty much how I style it. Yeah. You see how flat I got it right here? Could have got flatter right here. These parts could have got flatter, but I really don't feel like going to put that back on the stove. I actually really did enjoy this hair. This wig did not come with bleach knots, which is no biggie. You can always just bleach the knots yourself, or you can just put makeup like I did. But um, I will, I, I do prefer when the knots already come bleached with wigs. To me, when I receive wigs that aren't bleached, it's like, I don't really be wanting to bleach them because I feel like I'm gonna get bleach on the actual hair because when I make my own wigs, I bleach the knots first and like plug and everything like that before I even start making the unit. Some people know how to bleach the wig once it's already made and all that kind of stuff. And I probably can, but I just don't wanna take a chance. like. To be honest, so I just stick with the makeup. It actually does look really good after you pluck it and put makeup on it, as I did. Like it really does look nice. So you don't really need the bleaching and everything, but I would prefer it. Prefer it. The hairline is so natural to me. Like I didn't, I didn't have to pluck it. I just had to pluck the part or the parts, whatever, whichever I wanted to part it. I would just pluck it. 
But yeah, the hairline came natural. It didn't look all bulky. It's like nice and just like gradient into the rest of the hair because oh my gosh, like those wigs that just be having like such a bold hairline. I just be like, oh my gosh, I know I gotta do a lot of plucking. But I don't have to do any plucking with this hair besides the part. I'm gonna insert like a clip of me having it in a ponytail and also me having it up in a bun. If you guys will have me on Snapchat, add me on Snapchat. Um, yeah, it really looks good when it's in a bun, when it's in a ponytail, down the middle, like just everything. Only thing I haven't did was put curls in it. I haven't wand curled it yet, but I am gonna be doing that. Not, not now, but I do wanna do that. But right now I'm enjoying it straight. But it really did not have any shedding. Only when I cut the lace, which of course that's it, that's to expect, like duh. When I cut the lace, when I created baby hairs and things like that, but just like shedding on the regular, it didn't do that at all. I did have to cut like the ears, like around my ears, cut some of it off because it did come a little bit too big. I think this cap size is size medium. It's, um, something I didn't like was these hairs, like little hairs sticking up. Oh my gosh, those are driving me crazy. I would usually just take like some edge, con I would usually just take some edge control and like put it in my hand and just like lay those down. Oh, you can take a wand or something and just go like this, you know, just to lay it down. Make sure you guys are following me, following me on my social media. My Snapchat is at A-S-T-L-E-Y-J. And my Instagram is at Blaken. Y'all, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, which will be right here. It'll be right here somewhere. And make sure you guys are watching my, my most recent videos. You know, keep up with me. Yeah, so bye guys.